The gaming world is still feeling the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, prolonging development time for games and canceling major conferences. While in some cases the world is gradually returning to normal, E3 decided against hosting their annual show this year, citing COVID-19 concerns, among other things. But despite the absence of an E3-named event, the gaming industry is moving forward with their summer plans, revealing upcoming games and projects as usual. Don't forget Summer Game Fest! Oh, oh yeah, yeah that, that's for sure, wouldn't want to miss that. <laughs> The same goes for Nintendo, who traditionally saves their biggest reveals and showcases for their E3 Summer Direct. With no venue to premiere on this year, Summer Game Fest, it's still in the air exactly when the company will have its showcase ready. But I'm taking a bet they will shoot for the same general time as always. That said, even if they decide to push the Direct back a few weeks, it stands to reason Nintendo will eventually reveal more details on already announced games coming later in the summer and fill out their schedule for the latter half of the year. So what can we expect for this year's Summer Direct? Last year we saw another teaser for Breath of the Wild 2, still with no name, the triumphant return of Metroid Dread, some Smash hype, Mario Rabbids 2, Advance Wars, and some other exciting games. It was a solid show, albeit not the best Nintendo has put out there. This year, I'm expecting a similar showcase. Not filled to the brim with mega announcements, but still a great presentation. Although feel free to prove me wrong, Nintendo, please. <laughs> First, let's talk about games that will for sure be there. Starting with the sequel to Breath of the Wild. It has to be. <laughs> After all this hype and anticipation, you can't not show it during the Summer Direct. It has to be like probably one of the biggest trailers you have. I'm not expecting it to show everything, but if it's coming next year and maybe early next year, this is the moment to do it, to show a beefy gameplay trailer and not just another teaser. Give us gameplay, new features, a brief story trailer, a basic understanding of the premise. At least give us a name, like come on. If this is a no show, then don't expect it early 2023. This next part I call the three threes. Bayonetta 3, definitely time to see more of that. Give us a release date, more gameplay. I hope that's not being pushed back. It's supposedly ready just whenever Nintendo wants. I mean, I, I assume it'll be maybe an October, maybe even December release. Well, it could be November, but you know, Pokemon's kind of kind of taking a hold on November. I'm excited to play another one. One of the best action game series I've ever played Bayonetta 2 is up there in terms of just amazing choreography and just fluid gameplay that really hooks you. So I, I have high expectations for Bayonetta 3. Splatoon 3. With the delay, there's more time to flesh out the reveals. You can really milk it out until the end of September when they are supposed to release the game. So I expect August and September to be really Splatoon 3 focused. That being said, you need to show a trailer here. I'm hoping to see more maps, the hub world, a better understanding of the single player campaign, maybe a new mode? I think it's safe to say that you want to see some additional content in a sequel, right? So uh, I'm thinking that they may try to provide a new mode in addition to, you know, Turf War and Salmon Run. I think this E3 trailer will prove that Splatoon 3 does stand out from the other ones. But maybe not enough for some other people. Like, maybe it'll still be too similar. And finally, Xenoblade 3. A month until this game is out, uh, which is earlier than we first anticipated. Uh, you know, Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade 3 doing the swappy swap. I expect a big trailer with mild surprise to solidify that hype. Like, and I say big trailer, I mean kind of an overview type of thing. Um, so that you know, people get a better understanding of what to expect for those who are really new to the series. And then there'll be something something slightly surprising that will excite us fans. This may be like the last kind of trailer before, you know, you have the release date trailer kind of stuff. Part of me hopes that we do see a great trailer, but the other part hopes that we don't see much. Like, I don't want to be spoiled on anything too big. Like, I, I don't mind seeing stuff. Like, you can see content. That's okay, but... You know, don't go too far, Nintendo. Like, let me be surprised. <laughs> Mario Rabbits 2, we have heard almost, wait, I think we've heard absolutely nothing about this sequel. So please, unless something has gone wrong, 
we should see another trailer, and we should see a release date, <laughs> if it's supposed to be coming out this year. Last time, Mario and Rabbids, I believe it came out in August of 2017. Maybe that could happen in August 2022, but again, we haven't seen much of it since, so it's kind of up in the air where they are development-wise, but, you know, with Mario and Rabbids, the original one, I believe they just showed it off at E3, I mean, after all those rumors and leaks, they showed it off at E3 and announced the release date, August 2017. If Mayan Rabbids 2 has been in development for a while, then maybe August 2022 is not a bad guess. But I do expect it this year in the later half sometime. Advance Wars, it's time. I know and respect why they delayed it, but I think the wait has been long enough. <laughs> yeah, the conflict is definitely still going on, and Terrible things are still happening, but I, I don't think the game is to be blamed at all. <laughs> and that's kind of sensitive moment for a lot of people. It, it may not be as bad anymore. I, I hate to say that, but I just don't think it's on people's minds as much right now as it probably should be. <laughs> but I, I think it's time to give a new release date. Maybe push it farther back in, into the year, but give us a release date. Let us know that it, it still exists. I would prefer it to be in August. You know, that that month is kind of empty at, the, at this time. So put something there like Advance Wars. Just get it out there. I'm also not a, a marketing manager, so <laughs> that's just my two cents. And finally, for things that I think will for sure be there, Mario Kart 8 DLC. It's time for an update on the next part of the expansion. Show us what tracks are coming, what we can expect, and I think that will do it for Mario Kart 8. I'm not expecting anything huge, just some more DLC tracks. As for what I think might be there, or you know, just have a, a gut feeling, teaser for the next Fire Emblem game. Okay, I know I'm a big Fire Emblem fanboy, and we just are getting three hopes, but I am sticking to what I said in previous discussions, and videos that I made, I have been pretty insistent about Fire Emblem either getting a remake or a new game. And I said that if Fire Emblem was announced in the previous Direct, it would be a remake, but if it was at E3, it would be a new game. I'm less confident in that now. <laughs> we passed that remake prediction, but uh, I think it could be a remake or a new game, really. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new game. However, I do think E3 is the perfect place to have a teaser for the new game. Um, and then a remake would be better for, you know, a smaller direct, but that's besides the point. I think Fire Emblem has a great chance of showing up here. It's It's been long enough. Fire Emblem love is growing right now. I mean, as we're seeing with this, uh, the Three Hopes, this would be a good time to show the teaser for what's coming up next. Then again, we still do have Three Hopes. <laughs> Maybe Intelligent Systems, Koei Tecmo, and Nintendo don't want to take away from that. I totally understand that, but I don't know. I think it's just time. It's the right time to release the next Fire Emblem game in whatever fashion it may be. However, it won't be until late 2023 or 2024. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Speaking of Fire Emblem, maybe we'll get another Three Hopes trailer? I, I don't know. But it won't be anything new. They just had a trailer to promote the demo and the Ashen Wolves, of course. And maybe they'll repeat what they showed in that trailer. If they're scraping for content, that's something. But I'm kind of iffy on this just because Three Hopes is coming out at the end of the month and we've already seen so much. So maybe it, they, they set it aside and say, oh, well, we've done enough for now. A new Donkey Kong game. Now, this is a rumor that goes way back and I feel like I've brought it up in a lot of my discussions and predictions and whatnot. I don't know. I think it's time for a new Donkey Kong game and I'm excited for a new studio to potentially do it. Those rumors were from credible sources, so I'm sticking to my guns and saying the new Donkey Kong game will be announced, will be revealed, and it'll be scheduled for the end of the year. Buddy Bond Mission is a kind of visual novel type of game uh, that released in Japan but never was localized so i'm betting that we will get that localization i'm hoping i don't know there's something about it that seems charming and i i like good interactive visual novel here and there so 
I'm kind of hoping it, it does get here. A trailer for Tunic. There's this indie game that's a Zelda-inspired, but really a kind of uh, Link's Awakening original Zelda type inspired game. I really want to play it on my Switch. So I'm hoping the release date will be here in this direct. PlayStation got it announced for like sometime in September, I think. And I'm hoping that Nintendo will also get that same release date. Metroid Prime Remake. There's these rumors that Nintendo is building from the ground up, or maybe it's uh, retro themselves, are building from the ground up another Metroid Prime remake. You know, because they they kind of remastered, remade Metroid Prime already with the, you know, the Wii remote controls. But they're, this time they're doing it at, in a kind of an HD fashion for just Metroid Prime. Not the, not the trilogy, just the first game. At least that's what the rumor is about. I don't want to trust in rumors all the time, but this is one that is brought up repeatedly and it does kind of sound credible. <laughs> so I'm buying in on it. If it's not a Metroid Prime remake, at least the trilogy, bring that back. This sounds more like a wish than uh, something, something that I think will be there. But that is leading up to my next point, which is they will have another teaser, a little, uh, well, juicier trailer for Metroid Prime 4. If they don't have a very big announcement to end off this Direct, then Metroid Prime 4 could be it, and they would just give you an understanding of this is going to take a while, but the wait will be worth it kind of a situation. And so in order to satiate that uh, need to play Metroid Prime, they will have a, either the remake or the trilogy or whatever. So that's that's my whole prediction there. Maybe a little gutsy, <laughs> considering we have really zero idea how far along Metroid Prime 4 has been in its uh, production, but that's just how I'm feeling. But here's the caveat to all this, Mario. If there's a new Mario, or specifically a 3D Mario game, then you won't see Metroid Prime 4. And maybe you would still have the trilogy stuff, but. It's either Mario or Metroid. Those will be the two ones that'll that'll be the final big reveal teasers because Zelda is going to be the main game that they focus on because that's their big upcoming game. But they need another one to get people hyped. At least I, I think so. So it's either Mario or Metroid. And Mario games are, or at least they seem to be a little easier to make, <laughs> less trouble than what Metroid's going through apparently. Maybe the Mario prediction is more likely, but I think, it's either or it's a kind of a situation hey if, if they show both mario and metroid plus zelda i mean my goodness what a direct that would be nuts okay here's some crazy predictions all right you ready here we go Star Fox returns <laughs> that would be that would make this direct pretty big and it's a, it's a a much hype return not like you know a lukewarm type of situation you know, uh -oh, a, a porting of Star Fox Zero. No, 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 no. This is a solid Star Fox game with great direction. Uh, Miyamoto does, maybe doesn't have as much control of, <laughs> over it as he has in the past. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Pikmin 4 will still not be released. <laughs> like, is that gutsy or is that safe? I don't know. I don't know. But Pikmin 4 will not be revealed. Uh, not yet. Oh man, now I'm digging my grave. Watch, watch it be revealed. Watch it be revealed. We'll get an NES SNES remix. You know, kind of taking the concept of NES remix one and two, but throwing in SNES games in there as well. I think that would be pretty neat and a really cool look into Nintendo's history. It would be nice to have it in a new kind of mini game type format that NES remix was. The teaser for the Mario movie, maybe. <laughs> That also got delayed until next year, um, but a, a little teaser of what we can look forward to would be nice, but maybe they'll save that for the Fall Direct. And the craziest prediction that I have, uh, well, maybe crazy is not the right word, but probably my, my favorite prediction, announce the next Switch hardware. The Swole LED was great. You know, I, I love my OLED Switch, but it's time to get a little more power, uh, a little more graphic fidelity in the hardware for the Switch. I, you know, I, I'm not asking for a next generation per se. Well, I mean, I guess in a sense maybe I am, but keep the whole handheld switching between TV and handheld mode. Keep all that, but give us a, a little stronger of a console. 
I'm not expecting PS5, but a, a little, a little more power, please. <laughs> Don't make it so hard for uh, developers to work on Switch titles, because there's a lot of games that are coming out that are not coming to Switch because they just don't want to bother, and it makes me sad. I want to see those games. Maybe this is more of a, a, a desire than a prediction, but uh, I'm sticking to it. Decent upgrade, backwards compatibility, and then here's a the kicker. It will release sometime around Breath of the Wild 2. So it will, it will follow in the footsteps of the first game and the Switch. <laughs> it's great, right? <laughs> it's never going to happen. It's a crazy prediction, but I would love it if it did. Please note that I don't expect all of this to be jammed in one direct. I would love for that to be the case, but there's only so much time you can have in these directs. Plus all the time it takes to develop games and whatnot, it, it, you can't do it all. However, those first handful of games that I mentioned, I do indeed expect to be shown. It's all a matter of how they fill in the gaps in between those for sure titles, and if they can start and end the presentation on a high note. Is Nintendo still feeling the pains from the pandemic and other world events? Potentially, especially since we don't know the status of the latter half of 2022, and games like Advance Wars, Splatoon 3, and Breath of the Wild 2 have been delayed. But when you think about the rather busy first half of the year, and strong summer coming up, 2022 has been pretty strong for Nintendo. It may not turn into the 2017 sequel I was speculating before, sorry about that, but I'm pretty satisfied with Nintendo's 2022. Thank you so much for watching! Are you excited for Nintendo's Summer Direct? What games are you hoping to see? Let me know in the comments below. No idea when Nintendo plans on having their presentation, but I'm sure it will come. Right? Be sure to subscribe for more Nintendo content, and I'll see you next time. See you later!